Hey guys, I just wanted you to know that I am selling this necklace. This is the necklace that I used to wear all the time. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a morganite stone with pave diamonds and it's from David Yearman. It's rose gold and 18 karat. If you guys are interested, please let me know. I'm selling it for 1200 So I just wanted to give you guys a chance if you guys were interested because I got so many compliments on it. And the color is like not coming off on camera. Like pink pink like i will have a picture of it up on the screen and that's exactly how it looks in person i just got it cleaned at the yearman store recently so it will come with the box the cleanser and then the little jewelry bag as well if you guys are interested um like i said i only have a week i think or a few days to keep this and then next week by like wednesday if no one says anything then like i will go ahead and send it to them but yeah, let me know if you guys are interested. This is the box that it came in. I did have the bag, but I think I tossed it out because it was already like wrinkled and stuff. But yeah. Hi guys. So I actually never updated you on yesterday's dinner. It was fine. Um, I actually ended up getting red roses, which are back there. But I put them in. I put them away already. I'm kind of like debating whether or not I should put this one away. Let me turn the light on. Actually, I was debating whether or not I should put this away. Oh my god! Look, the stem is like sticking. Out. Girl. But I'm kind of just like leaning them in my little pot because I really wish I had a boss that was like this size. I really feel like I should go to Target and look for one. I don't know the exact diameter, but I don't know you guys. Like I just really need a pot that fits in that. I think floral number five is like my favorite favorite, but there's also the peony shop, which is also really beautiful. So I will link those two flower shops down below in case you guys want to send them to your significant other you guys like flowers really change a girl's mood and i don't know why guys don't do it as often as they probably should um because i think it just really changes like the girl's mindset and it just makes her like so much happier for me at least and honestly it doesn't even have to be like 300 dollars flowers like this like it doesn't have to be that expensive i think i would just be happy with like just even peonies from trader joe's or something like if this guy <laughs> it's the same one um if he <laughs> what i call him if my friend didn't get me the flowers from here i would and like he lived actually lives in california and was like with me all the time or whatever i would be more than happy with just trader joe's like flowers but definitely when it's like long distance you gotta do a little bit extra but these are like my favorite favorite but anyway i want to make some dinner i'm thinking of making jajamyang because i have some more of the galbi left and i don't know i kind of wanted to make jajamyang with like an egg and everything but i'm gonna look and see i don't know maybe i should just do tofu yeah i think i'm just gonna do fried tofu actually so let me put you guys back on the tripod where did it go i can't find anything in my apartment so this is the one that i use it goes really tall so i really prefer to travel with this one i actually don't remember if i can take it as a carry-on or if it is allowed to be a carry-on yeah golden hour already passed like while i was taking my photos let me just set you guys back on here where is the other tripod that actually goes for this camera because this is not it. I usually use a smaller one. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, let me just move them over here. I just moved them over. I really wanna take it to my mom's house, but I don't know how that's gonna go. I pick up the car on Monday um, and then I have to go see my mom, so. We're gonna cook and we're gonna clean. So let me cook first because I'm starving. I haven't had anything to eat in a while. This shirt is not my deal. I've been eating so, so bad and like, I really need to get my shit together. I have so much to do tomorrow, like it's not even funny. And tomorrow's Saturday. I thought today was I thought today was Thursday. So anyway, let me turn the fire on for that. Um, I'm actually going to cook all of this. I don't know what's up with my shirt. I think it's just like, it's not for like made for broad shoulders. My shoulders are pretty big. So anyway, let's just continue. So I'm gonna do veggies in a bit. But I like getting the twin pack because it's just easier to, like, you don't have a lot of tofu. You just use one side. One and the other. And then I do get the firm one, so just make sure it's, like, thick enough. That's fine. And then, let's see, I'm going to put that over there. Okay, so for the galbi... I'm going to just take them I'm just going to cut them in bite-sized pieces and the last one is pretty thin 
good. I wanted to finish this beforehand because it's already, I think I got it on Wednesday or Tuesday. And it's already like later. No, no, Luna, no. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna add a little bit of the sauce with it. This was my dinner. I just made some broccoli for my veggies and then I had tofu with kimchi and then also the galbi for protein and it was super, super yum. I got really full even though I had no rice, so that was perfect. Okay, so I have like all of my filming stuff here, but I don't know. It's kind of like irritating me to be honest I just like really don't know like where I would keep it. I don't do my makeup really heavy anymore So I'm gonna just take out the things that I was using and probably just put it in here or I don't know if I should I don't know what to do with all this damn makeup. Hold on Okay, so I just have my jeans left to do. I wanted to write in my agenda for a bit because it's been a while since I've done that. Oh, I have like so much stuff on my desk right now and I don't even know where my pen is. I got this candle from Marshalls. It's called Sand and Paws and it's like soy, soy blend so it's good for, it's perfect for Luna. These roses I actually got yesterday and they are so beautiful. They actually had hydrangeas, but the hydrangeas were dying, so I just took them out. And this is just peppermint tea. It's really good. 
I love this brand. It's the brand Tea Leaves. I don't know. I've never heard of it before. But I really want to get more because I just love it. But these roses are so beautiful. Yeah. And then my other flowers, I haven't decided like what to do with them yet. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking. I really need a lamp for my desk because I feel like sometimes this, like the main light up there is just not enough. Or, um... I also want to get like lighting fixtures for like both sides of the bed so that's like the plan I really need to wait until um, you wait until my friend comes to town um, so he can help me do that and then he can like put all this stuff up I think I just need an electric screwdriver um, I was gonna write in my agenda but I've, I was already writing in my iPad for my agenda like digital so I'm just gonna continue doing that because I don't want to do my physical agenda until like I don't know until I get back until I have like an actual schedule so I'm just gonna write in here I don't really like showing you guys but I like the ASMR sound <laughs> for this um, Hi guys good morning it is friday and i have every other fridays off so today i'm gonna go do my self-care routine i have my lash appointment today and it's at 11 it's only nine o'clock right now but i have to move the car by 10 and then um i also want to go get my nails done so i'm gonna ask my nail tech if they can take me in just like as a walk-in because i always just like call in and as long as she's available i just go to her um but i did cut down my cuticles last night i don't know if you guys can see that it's not going to focus, but I did cut down my cuticles last night and they look so nice now. Um, I did kind of cut my pinky finger. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I might grab a Starbucks because I'm a little bit too early. Um, I'm going to get there at like probably like 10, 15 or something. But I also have to go to the post office and do a few things. So I'm going to do that. But I might do that after actually because it's just like not something I have to do immediately. But yeah, so I'm going to get my errands done and I'm going to put my makeup on after. I don't have an eyelid for this eye, but um, I did bring my eyelid tape. So I'm going to head out now and my girlfriend's calling me. So I'm going to call her back. Okay, you guys. So, oh, I had a mask in here already. Okay, so we should go get Starbucks first. Um, I also brought my makeup bag here. I use my toiletry 19 because literally nothing else is like better than this. Um, so I use my toiletry 19 as my makeup bag currently. It is pretty dirty, but if I put an organizer in here, it's just gonna like, I'm gonna lose the space. So anyway, let's just do my eyebrows a little bit. I also have to uh, put air in the tire. Oh my God, I hate this brow pencil. Like actually, this one's like way better the benefit it's like way more creamy it doesn't break every two seconds i like the rectangle the triangle one better because that one actually is easier for me to shape my eyebrows because i just use the triangle and then follow my brow this one's fine too but i thought i had it in my purse but i guess not and then my lash tech is just gonna wipe like half of this off anyway i already put my sunscreen on but i didn't i don't have the one that i can reapply so i'm kind of like what the fuck i forgot to bring it Okay, so that's it. I really want another toiletry 19, honestly, and like another 26. So I might end up buying one like on the resale market, which is like stupid because they're crazy expensive right now. But I don't know. Is this the only one that's gone or are all of them gone? But I want another one. <laughs> Let's go. I just drove to the Starbucks, but it, like they had a photo of a drive through window. And there's not a drive through here. Honestly, I fucking hate any gas stations that are not Chevron or Arco. I was literally asking the guy, I was like, oh, um, what's the air, what's the code for the air or whatever? And he's like, oh, um, I can't tell you. It's, um, you have to get gas first. It's on the receipt. So I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. So, uh, so then I'm going, right? And, um, I just put in like, I don't know, I think like 20 cents or something stupid. And so I did that and then he's like, so I take the receipt to him and I'm like, oh, so where's the code on the um, on the receipt? And he goes and he writes it on the fucking receipt. Like, are you kidding me? 
I'm parked stupid right now, but it's fine. I just need to pump gas in the left tire. Um, wow, so like, he literally could have just told me, but he was like, oh, you have to get gas first. I'm like, dude, I put in like fucking 20 cents. It was so irritating. Anyway, I always take my bag just in case somebody robs the car, because I don't care about the car, but I care about my bag. <laughs> okay, anyway, that was, I know, I knew it. I knew it, I just knew it. Okay, so let me go do this really quick. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished and it looks like it's fine now. Hopefully it lasts till tomorrow. I don't know if the air here is different than the desert, but um, it's um, 10.50. My last appointment is, I'm six minutes away, but what are the odds that I get there late? Probably. I'm just gonna get Starbucks after because I won't be able to drink it anyway. And I wanted to get one for my lash tech, but I'll just get it for her next time. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to my lash appointment, I suppose, because I'm gonna get there like six minutes before my appointment. So um, I literally thought I scheduled it for like 10 a.m., but I guess not. And my hair is straight today, so it's kind of weird to me. Um, wait, which way am I going? Do I go that way? No, that's Lake Drive. And here, like a right. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Bye. This is what my Lash Tech's studio looks like and it's super cute. They have the chairs here with dividers in the middle so you don't have to worry about COVID or anything like that. Um, you do have to wear a mask when you are getting serviced and then this is just some of her certificates and her esthetician license that she has and then also just some merch. I thought the lash shedding art was super cute because it's glitter of course. <laughs> So these are what my lashes look like. I know when you guys saw the first clip, it looked like my lashes were already full, but this is how they look like from the top view. And I do get a volume, so she does make them super, super full, which I love. And I did get doll eye this time, which I wish I didn't. I wish I got wispy, but next time I'll get wispy and then we'll just transition the style. Hi guys. Um, so I just finished with my lashes and they are so full right now, but they always look like that and then they'll get like better. Um, they get better like after the second or third day like some of them will fall off so yeah that's what they look like i'm gonna put you guys back on the tripod for a second uh let me see how long it's gonna take me well i actually kind of like my hair straight like i think it looks better when it's longer um we also have to go to uh target because um self-care is actually with my hair like i want to dye my hair again probably a lighter brown because it's brown right now but it's a darker brown so um i wanted a little bit lighter let me see my nail salon i hate that they're so far like on the west side it was better when i lived over there but <laughs> no it just like kind of sucks because i'm so far but i just don't want to go wow it's gonna take like an hour okay so i'm just gonna go to long beach then to go um and then i might not get starbucks so i'll just get um got you there <laughs> i really really wanted to go Actually, if I go to Marina Del Rey, there might not be, but we'll see because if I go there later, then there's going to be traffic. Okay, there's just going to be traffic regardless. So anyway, I'll see you guys later and um, I'll chat with you guys then. Hey guys, so I ended up just working for the rest of the day even though I didn't have to. And I'm just going to eat these and go to bed and then tomorrow I will go get my nails done. You guys can see the growth already. Um, just right there and then on this side. I feel like you can see it a lot. Yeah. There you go. So I really have to get them done. I think I'm going to leave the length just like two more times and then after that get them off because my natural nail underneath has been growing out so much. You guys can see it's right there. Um, so I'm probably going to get it off after like two more times getting a fill just because I want them long for my birthday. So I might just keep them. Well, okay, fine. I'll keep them until my birthday and then after that I will get them removed. So yeah, that's what they look like. Luna is ready for bed. Hi, Tuna and i just worked and i didn't even go to dinner because i just i always cancel last minute because i get really bad anxiety and i don't know why like i just something about being in public just weirds me out i don't know why like i'm i used to not be like this and i used to love going out and stuff but yeah anyway zumani sent me new organizers so i'm gonna go ahead and switch those out tomorrow when i come back um from my nail appointment and i was supposed to give this to my mom and to jazzy but i completely forgot and i'm probably gonna go to the high desert again just for the day next week when my friend goes to his job site so i'm probably just gonna go with him and we're gonna 
he's gonna drop me off at my grandma's house and then I'll see everybody and then when he's done with work he'll pick me up and then we'll come we'll come back to LA together so I think that's the plan and yeah so I will see you guys tomorrow for like when I go return the car rental and then I'm gonna get the car washed and vacuum it and everything so it's ready to go um, for the next customer and yeah I'm still gonna be wearing my multi pochette just because um, it's just like I figured out a way like all the things that I need are like finally in here So it's perfect and I'm not like struggling with anything, but I'm gonna take out the receipts right now and then um, File them and then just head to bed. So that's it. Bye You need to rub them with a little smooth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you know why? <laughs> yes, what's your name? Kali. Alright, sure, Kali. Thank you, see you later, okay? Thank you. Hi guys, good morning. I'm gonna continue the self-care vlog, I guess. <laughs> I really need to go get soy milk, so I might do that in a bit, but I wanna have some water with um, lemon really quick because it's been really good for me. I got these organic lemons just before I left to my mom's, so. I really wanna buy like a um, a water pitcher or something just so I can have um, fresh water all the time and also put lemons in it so for like lemon water but I just haven't seen one that I liked but I'll probably I really want to go to West Elm this week to look for some but I have a massage today at 3 30 I'm gonna show you guys the place that I love going they're Cambodian owned and I just really like it they're super super sweet and that they are Thai masseuses, but the um, majasta I don't know how to say that in English. The maja of the hang is it hang? The maja of the masseuse place, they're kind so. That's my water. Um, it is actually really late because I took a nap yesterday and then I was awake until 4 a.m. And then I went back to sleep at 4 a.m. So I woke up at like 9. I, don't know, I feel kind of weird today. 
Okay, so I'm gonna actually start filming a little bit. I have two videos to do today. I wanna do one on my Never Full, and then I have a What's in My Bag for my Speedy B25. It's been a while since I featured that one, and I do really love that bag. Where is it? So I do really love that bag. I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an update on it. I don't know why I haven't been using it, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna clean up a bit, and then I'll see you guys. Hi guys, so I'm just gonna do my makeup right now. I'm doing light makeup because I'm gonna go for a massage, but I obviously don't want to go looking crazy. I don't know, I just like... Oh, I just like wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like no one really talks about like the downside of dating. Like, how, I don't know, I just feel like no one talks about how stressful or how draining it is. But like, it's so like... It's just so time consuming and so stressful and it's like... You have to you have to get ready and for girls it takes even longer So we're spending like three or four hours, you know, like or I don't know maybe like an hour or two To get ready and go on this date and then like it just doesn't Like nothing happens after that and not that I'm expecting something to happen after it's just like I'm just saying it's so draining like it just sucks so much life out of you and like you get to a certain point where you're just so tired of doing it that I think that you're just kind of like okay well is this even like what I really want like I'm just so exhausted going through the same motions every single like every other day or every week like it's just a lot and and it sucks because I like I actually feel like I was falling in love with someone but then I have these expectations that I want to be met and it's like I don't want to tell people like how to love me like I don't want to go like step by step and like try to teach them because it's just like not genuine and I feel like and I feel like I was I don't know kind of like love bombed at the beginning and I just felt like everything was so perfect and like I, I don't know this person like made me fall in love with them like that and then everything just stopped and it's like only until I mentioned like flowers and stuff did you do it again and it's like that's not what I want like I just I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I was like manipulated and I feel like I still really love this person but I just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm not happy and it's like, I know I have these expectations in a, that I want in a relationship and I know that, I, I don't know, but like love is just not enough for me, I don't, I don't know why and I just feel like it's just not enough for me and I feel like even though like there are guys that are offering me things and like you know wanting to take me out and I don't know I just feel like they like appreciate my time and this person is just like not willing to I guess like is not willing to like invest in me in a sense and I just am not okay with that and I feel like people are gonna think that I am shallow or that I I don't know I just feel like I'm always like so stressed out and it's like I don't know and then like with Luna's health it's like I have like a bunch of bills for like her internal medicine specialist um and it's like yeah I can take care of it but it's like if I was with someone that was willing to like take that stress off of me it's like it would just be a lot easier for me it's like I'm not like struggling like I'm not at all but it's just sometimes I just wish that like I don't know I just wish like it was just a little bit easier and I feel like that's what that's like that's what I want like I want a partner that's going to help me out like financially and I don't know I just feel like I don't like I just know I'm not gonna be happy if I don't have that and this person that I was seeing for a while yeah like I love him like I love him so much but I just feel like there's always like something missing and I'm just like not happy like it's come to a point where I just feel so annoyed and like I don't know like turned off whenever we talk or whenever I'm texting and it's like all short messages because I just feel like I'm I I put so much time into it and I'm just not seeing results and I'm not getting anything back and I don't know I think for me I just see it as like a give and take and yeah people might think it's shallow but whatever and it's like, I don't know, I feel like we broke up and got back together like four or five times already and like, is that not like already a red flag for like the beginning of a relationship? <sighs> I don't know, I think like I just felt so overwhelmed today and it's just like all hitting. And then like here I have someone that's like willing and able and 
it's like for me like I can learn to love someone like when I met my ex I didn't immediately like fall in love with him but I think it was just everything he did to help me and like him just spoiling me it just like made me feel so loved and I don't know like love is just not enough for me some people won't agree with me but it's just it's just me it's just like my personality and like my background things that I went through I just need that sense of security or like safe space and I just don't feel like I'm getting that with this person like no matter how much I love them like it's just I'm never gonna be happy <sighs> so like I, I don't know I talked to my therapist about it and she's like well do you think you can ever like eliminate that aspect that your ex like your expectations and I said no like I just don't see it I just don't see it like ever going away like I'm always stressed out over work now that I have my own apartment it's like yeah I had like savings for a new bag and then like <laughs> I had to take my cat to like the kidney specialist and stuff and and it's like obviously everything for her comes first my health comes first but I just don't feel like I'm getting the most out of life or that I'm able to enjoy myself or do anything at all like I don't know it's just I'm kind of like stuck here and this person doesn't live in LA like it's like long distance so like that I feel like makes it even harder and yeah we can see each other two times a month because and I know like that's not very common for some people in like long distance relationships but like for us it is because like we have the means to do that but I just feel like I just feel like I don't know if it's even really worth it at this point <sighs> I just feel like I'm stressed out all the time work is so stressful now because it's so busy um, I have school coming up in August or September. I don't even know when the hell school starts I don't know. It'd just be a lot easier to like be with someone in LA so they can be here And because I don't have that emotional support. Yeah, I do expect like financial support and I'm just I just don't feel like I'm getting it either like I don't know. I feel like super like stressed out every time I talk to this person because I just know like I'm not like being loved the way that I want to be loved and I just don't think that you should teach someone how to love you. Anyway, I have to get like slightly ready for my massage because then I have to go to Katsuya after for dinner. Um, I'm just going with the friend. I actually met him online, but we just like hang out casually. I'm not like a romantic relationship or anything, but I just like want to talk to him and I just feel like stressed out and I don't know. I'm just, I just wanted to like go and do something. So we're going to go for a massage and, um, and go eat some sushi because I love sushi and I haven't had it in a while I wanted to go to Matsuhisa last week but like I my breaks were only like 30 minutes I couldn't that's not even like the uber right there so um yeah I definitely had to postpone that I went to Nobu recently actually like two weeks ago not last weekend but the weekend before that I went and it was actually a good time it was pretty pricey though <laughs> I didn't pay for it but it was pretty pricey <laughs> I love Nobu, Nobu is so yum, but Matsuhisa is like my favorite favorite. I want to go there like at least once a month. I think I'm gonna put that in the budget. <laughs> I'm crazy, huh? Okay, anyway, um, thank you guys for listening because I just feel like sometimes I sit here and you know, I I feel like people think I have my life together, but there are things that kind of like, I think when it comes to relationships, oh my shirt's like what? <laughs> I think when it comes to relationships, I really kind of, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, my ex really set the bar pretty high. <laughs> Um, I think I definitely like we definitely got really lucky with each other because I mean we did we were like in love and it was Incredible for like, you know the times that we were happy. Um, so for that I'm super grateful, but I think what's that? What's the thing all good things come to an end? <laughs> um, hopefully not when I get married, but um, Yeah, it was a good time, but I'm like I'm happy to move on and see what else is out there in the world and um, Make new memories with other people so Anyway, uh, my lashes are like all wet. I don't have a double eyelid on this side. I think I'm gonna put some eyelid tape on it. I have like a slight eyelid on one of them. Every time Luna goes in the litter box, it's like micro, micro dust. So the, the purifier goes crazy. And I'm actually really enjoying the lemon water. I think it's a good different, like it's different from like coffee, but it's good. 
I didn't really like the food at Katsuya to be honest. I think they kind of fell off during the pandemic, but this was a spicy margarita and it was only okay. And then I went to my friend's apartment, she's my neighbor, and she made some shrimp tacos, which were so, so bomb. And this is it again, just cause it was so delicious. But that was the end of my night and I will show you guys the massage place in my next vlog. Bye, Fee.